cheese. Oh my god, it cut out again. Oh, the classic. Every freaking time, man. Gross Are you cheese, sure I'm not, man. like, insanely loud? You're fine, yeah, you're good. You sound nice. You sound, you sound sexy for the squad members. Oh, yes. Okay, guys, you know, we're back on this live <laughs> comp. What are you doing? I'm out here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here, bro. You already know. Anyway, we're back. Oh, you already know. And today... Shut that! And today, we got a special video for you. Oh, it's so special. You know, you guys don't even know. An NHL 17 wish list. Yes! So I think it's going to be a two or three part series we haven't decided yet. Yeah. But primarily this episode, we're going to focus on the greatest game mode that has ever come to this. Shut that! <laughs> the greatest game mode that has ever come to this game in the history of the world. E A S to the H to the L. Oh, we want to talk about a few improvements, fixes, add-ons, changes that they could make to make this the oh the greatest game mode that it could possibly be. So just sit yeah, back. But just suggestions. I'm it. All right, you you take it. Let me. <laughs> so I'll put that in. So just sit back, you know, relax, listen to our suggestions. If you have any of your own, just put them in the comments. You know, we would love to hear what you guys are thinking. All right, well, so... Yeah, you know. So, you want to start off? Let's see. All right. I'm going to go with number one. All right, should, we, should we go backwards, maybe? Least important or so, most important? No, because let's just, let's just go up. Just as many, just any changes. Any, any of them. All right. All right, what I got to say is one word... Customization. I mean, this is some left nut love. Yeah, this is all. Oh, it promises. Oh. <laughs> all right. Like, let me let me customize my jersey, change it up, change the colors. Back in like NHL uh, 14 days, just like that was perfect. Like that that would be completely fine if they just brought that back. Honestly, am I the only then, one though that would feel like if we brought NHL 14 back with new graphics? It would be perfect. Yeah, exactly. That was the days, man. All right. No, no, we got we got to expand a little. And bit. and so, and then on top of that, maybe so different jersey colors, and then. Maybe like importing your own logo or. Am I the only one? That, I thought of this really good idea. Okay, I know it's kind of far fetched. It may happen to me. Oh, oh, oh! It may or may not happen. It's kind of an epitome of my epitome of my imagination right now. <laughs> Basically, I was thinking about. So you know how they got rid of like the grind, you know, per se, for level care, Le character levels. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, back uh, in the day, you know, getting XP and, and ranking just up. Make player. your wrist shot like ridiculous, and then you just type everyone yeah. in the view of All right, so I was thinking yeah. about a customization way, not for your player, but for your team. So like, you know how everyone has computers, right? <laughs> the same. The seeps. The seeps. <laughs> everyone knows. N slash hates the seeps. <laughs> so essentially what I'm thinking is, you know, ideally you want 6v6, but you know, we're not about that on this channel. You know, we're about the 2v2 classic squad, you know, playing the game. Anyway, my idea was, for example, you have a team level. So like you level, you're level one, and if you can add, so this, this is all, this whole thing, okay? So like, you have a team level. And at specific levels, so if they ever have, oh my god, if they ever have certain levels such as like, I, let me finish. So, team levels are different parts of the overall game. So if they ever add arena customization, which is one thing I would love, you get certain unlocks available. So there's like the part of the grind back. So your team levels up. Let's say you get level five, you unlock jersey customization. So you just get the base jerseys. You get just the, the EA generic logos. Uh, you get just customize the colors and stuff like that. Nothing more. Just like back like the, the classic NHL 14 designs, right? Yeah. You get that. Yeah. All right. So I was thinking about maybe level 10. They give you custom logos. All right. You get to put in your own logo. You get to make your own jersey, laces, everything, everything you want, right? Yeah. This is all random. Maybe level 15. Shoot. Maybe level 15. It's just your arena comes in. And then you go into deep, so you got a customizable arena. But let me think about that. But you have, you but you level up each thing. So like, maybe your arena is like a level, level. Let me get like level five arena. All right. 
at that oh, 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 we're talking for the period. This is this is uncut squad, you know? I'm, I'm just talking I'm just squad. talking, right? Look at the stats. Anyway. Um so we're just if you think about it, so there's a levels within levels. So there's the team level that gets you to unlock jerseys, which then in turn gets you more things. So there's the grind that people are missing from the players, but they keep the player classes. I think that's a good idea because there's no cheese. It keeps the game so much more balanced. So back to what I was saying with the, the things. Levels within a level. So like jerseys, you get just the base logos and base everything at level five team. And within that level, you can get level two jerseys. For doing a certain task like you have tasks it's like challenges like call of duty there's challenges you complete and within those challenges if you complete them you get specific maybe materials you get maybe brands you can do like add like a like a ccm logo or a bauer logo anywhere on your jersey um and then within the jerseys if you get to a certain level you get to a third maybe a third jersey all right i'm talking about oh yeah there you go you get a third jersey and then within the arenas let's say you get to Level 20. Oh my, that is going, Ron. Maybe you get to, maybe you get to 20,000 fan or 20,000. Uh, man, where am I going here? Maybe if you get to like a certain level, you get to expand your arena, so you get bigger fans, more fans, and fans will adapt. So if you're playing good, they go away. But if they're playing, if you're playing, ter or if they're playing good, they're coming to the games. But if they're not, you know what? Forget you. You're, you're bad. You're not playing. So All right. levels within level systems. You know depth. More things okay, to one offer. thing, one thing I gotta, I gotta add that uh, I, I beg to differ. Um, <laughs> I think. Oh, hold on! I was not. Let me say one thing for a second. But the CPUs I was talking about is that you get to customize CPU's name. So whatever you're feeling, you know, you want to put a CPU name. Oh, you make that name. Right. Make up a certain number. All right. And then within that level, you know, if you give, let's say, six over there, you give him uh, two goals a game or something, he ranks up to level four. Level four CPU is like. It may be kind of OP, but it's not. Like, level 4 CPU becomes, like, whatever player class you want to make him. Instead of just a balanced player class, you can make him a level, like, a sniper, maybe. Jesus, this is so in-depth. I know. I've been thinking about this for a while. All right, whatever you're going to say, go for it. All right, well, I was saying I was saying maybe um, also to incorporate the, the grind factor. <laughs> maybe to incorporate the grind factor back in the NHL. Um because the I like the player classes, I think that's a good idea. Just so, but I think you should maybe be able to um, to fine tune them a little bit more. So maybe just like less. You have the set player classes, and then there's caps also, and you can add to let's see, like say speed or something like that. But like maybe if you. Um, add like a certain amount of speed then something else goes down or like all right, all right. just so you can have um, like you can customize your player but with yeah. disadvantages yeah because like this way like all your like every player in the game is the same pretty much i just thought just of an idea. Player yes. so i hope i like the ranking system they have in 16 where you have like the prestiges and stuff like that first of all yeah. they got to make it easier to rank so up. hard to rank it's up it's impossible to rank up like it took me literally half a year to get the first prestige so they make it little different challenges. Like, oh, like, kind of like Call of Duty has challenges where it's like random things, where it's like do a slide while shooting up or something like that. So yeah. it's like maybe they have a instead of just only goals as a challenge to rank up for XP, you have uh, like hit 20 post or hit go bar down or something like that, right? Kind of like that. Yeah. It's like or like hit tape the tape passes instead of like that, like complete a certain amount of passes instead of just assist. Like go deeper within like the passing attribute. Anyway, so with Oh, with ranking up, so they keep the ranking up system with procedures and stuff like that. But instead yeah. of, um, like, let's say I get to level, I prestige once, right? I get a gold stick or a gold helmet, and eventually I can have all gold armor. Armor. Oh, so freaking weird. That would be sweet, though. Come on, running around with all gold equipment on. So, like, let's say, let's say I reach max level, I get like diamond. I got a diamond stick or something like that. Engraved with my name so on it or something weird. like that. No, that's so weird. That would be sweet. You're telling me that would be kind of cool. You, you want to want A diamond stick? Come on, that would be awesome. Listen to yourself. Yes. Blatsman. There's a guy with a teal stick right now. Yeah, the difference is that is diamond. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. Just, it doesn't have to be that. I'm talking about, like, just incentives to rank up, like, as in, like, Call of Duty has, like, Challenge, like you get these titles. Yeah, like I mean, like and you so have like a title and a kind of thing, like one of those. 
that's why Continue Call of Duty is it stays like you can play it for a, a year until the next Call of Duty comes out. But like NHL, halfway through the There's, year, yeah. NHL if they're gonna the make dies. ESHL a deep game mode, I think that they need to do is just go for it. Like, not just go for it. Like they need to list, like just make it like. It's like this year it was kind of just okay. You play and then like you can try and rank up. That's like all you do, right? But I want like yeah. I want there to be more ways to rank up instead of just getting 100 goals or 200 goals, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, and it's not like it, it gets easier like when you prestige. It's not like you reset your XP. It still costs 19,000 XP to rank up. Yeah. What a play, bench squad hockey. <laughs> anyway, so like if they can do something in the sense like make the game deeper. Like, just add more within more. I all, yeah. but we, the, say, the central gist of this is we want customization. The fact that yeah. we don't have custom jerseys right now is absolutely ridiculous. And, yeah, so, and like, customization can mean multiple different things. It's like we're talking about, like, customizing jerseys, but then also customizing players, customizing your like your team in general, yeah, your, like other like, players on cool your is, team. Like, if you can, like, for the arena, like, you can customize all the ads around it. Like, 2K does. Yeah. And I hate to say yeah. that, but 2K, like, Pro-Am, like, you customize the court, you put in ads and stuff like that on the boards. Which, like, yeah. 2K may have some problems here or there, but they have their custom. The foundation set. is there. They have, yeah. And they and they seem to listen to everyone, too. Yes. And, like, listen to what their fans are saying. I totally agree with you, G-Score. <laughs> no, but, um, like, I feel like we have... What the heck is that? Sorry. And EA has Game Changers, so they're... Making a step in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I had no problems with it. 16 was, was really fun. The thing is, if they just, there needs to be more. Yeah. We as human beings get never, don't get enough. We have never <laughs> get enough. <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? Like, sorry, let me focus up here. Maybe also, um, like, okay, so if you ever play, like, NCAA, um, any NCAA yeah. basketball games? Oh, uh, not basketball. Okay, so in basketball, you can customize a coach, right? <laughs> Imagine us customizing coach and yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Also, this is like kind of ridiculous. Like, this is no way this is ever gonna happen. But like, this kind of goes with my arena customization thing. Imagine if you could like, because there's so much that goes on in hockey, like during breaks and stuff like that. Imagine for arena customization, you could put in like. Uh, Whenever a guy gets a penalty, you can put in like a certain noise or something like that, or like uh, like instead of hearing the same old like. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, two K does that too. Yeah, like, like there's noises like maybe also custom goal horns for your arena, like one of those yeah. things. Like it doesn't have to be custom, just like you can pick a goal horn because I'm sick and tired of hearing the same goal horn play while playing ESHL. Up now in the Wait, can't we pick our goal thing? No. An ultimate team you like, Yeah. Ultimate team's like your... Yeah, you can pick whatever goal you want. Hit me. Alright, but... Anything else you have to add, Will? I think that's about it for customization. Customization, we went deep in that. Yeah, we went deep in okay. that. And that's that's mainly what I want, is just some customization. And Literally, in I have no problem with the gameplay. The gameplay is perfect. So, or not gameplay, perfect, yeah. Like, there's I a few mean, minor tweaks, like, like, uh, like the one hand, like, have you guys ever been in, like, a situation where, like, the puck will go by you and you can easily just pick it up and shoot it, but, like, you'll go for a poke check. Like, and I think, like I think the seamless puck yeah, pickups they work, need to be refined. Yeah, like, it's, a they work bit. a little bit, but they don't work when, they work, Well, work sometimes if I'm, if I'm standing still right here, I bet I'll do it pretty much. Well. Right? Why not? <laughs> yeah, like, they, they don't do them at the right time. Yeah, like they need to be fine. And I, they do sometimes, but it most of the time it just like puts you straight into the defender. And just, yeah, like, and like you lose it. Or one gameplay thing that bothers me, it happened to us so much today. When we're playing and we'll hit someone, and then like you can't pick up the puck around them, which is absolutely yeah. pisses me off. Yeah, it's and it'll just get stuck in their skates or something, and yeah. you can't pick it up, and then they just get up and take it back, which never would happen. Yes. Ever like in real life, but. All right, do you want to discuss, like, anything, like, feature-wise, like, uh, for EA? So we have all the customization. Now we have, like, okay, they can keep the 10 divisions, so, which is perfect. Like, there's no Yeah, okay. That, but there needs to be I, something yeah. after Division 1. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I would say, 
maybe I th I think I I like how there's playoffs. Yeah, that, and that's I good, but like, in, in, yeah, there's even more um, if that makes sense. Because like after Division One, like okay, so you wait a month to play play. Yeah, and it gets kind of repetitive. So yeah, um, I'm not sure. Got any ideas? <laughs> you were like, not sure. <laughs> no, like, oh, what the freak is this guy up to? <laughs> but um. Maybe for playoffs. I, I, but first of all, am I the only one that misses NHL 14 where it's a playoff environment? Yeah. Like, oh, well, like, okay, all it says is, like, playoffs on the ice. And plus, what I've noticed, too, when we've been playing, it's like you're not playing, like, your division. Like, you'll be playing a guy in the amateur playoffs if you look at their ice. It will yeah. say amateur playoffs. I want, like, this might be kind of And weird. some games some games will just, like, smack someone around because they... They like they're still in like D8. yeah because like I'm playing like, like the guys in like the worst possible division which I don't think it's fair to like matchmaking just in general yeah like, I think there needs to be like elite plays elite like that kind of way also they need to go back to a playoff atmosphere I'm talking about like chance in the crowd like uh, send them home or something like that or like towels waving uh, like like signs on like the like the corner boards that say like uh, yeah PSH yeah, playoffs um, uh, like on the ice, obviously, like um, ESHL playoffs, not like that, like amateur cup or anything like that. Just say 2000 or say April, whatever. Let's say it's worth April right now. So it'll be like April playoffs, 2000, 2016 April playoffs. Yeah. Just give us more of an atmosphere. Plus, I feel like this would be, oh, this would be kind of like overdoing it, but like. Imagine if... Oh, yes. It's oh, I just of, thought it was one too. Alright, yeah. It was, I keep so, going. This would be like overdoing it, but um... Like, maybe like you get into a series with someone. Yeah. Like you have you have four opponents, you get into a series with that one opponent, you match up with them, and then you have four opponents that you're playing for a seven game series, which make it just ten times better. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Alright, so there's a couple things. First of all, they have to bring back practice mode. Oh they, my they god, have to yes. Bring back practice mode. You have no many uh, times like, you want to practice like cycling it or something like that. Or yeah, we'll playing. be we'll be having played a game in like days or like weeks and we just have to go straight back into a D one game and play against people that have been like playing games non stop all day. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And it also reminded me I think it'd be cool if within EASHL or something, there was just like a just a plain 2v2, like, 2v2 with goalies oh or something like god. that. Oh my god, just a straight like, 2v2 game by, like, no one yeah. else? Oh my god. Yeah, just like a small okay. mini that prank. also like... reminds me of one quick idea before the game's over, okay? Um, I had this idea for NHL 16 when everyone was really, really upset about uh, you can't rank up as your player or anything. I had this idea, which I thought was beautiful. I, I still think it's really beautiful. Okay, so Call of Duty, obviously, I hate to bring it back to this, but Call of Duty has public matches and it has arena modes, competitive game modes. My uh, idea... Will knows about this. My idea was public match is you rank up your character, right? You have your Legend 1, your Legend 1, Legend 2, Legend 3 amateur. You try to rank up your character, like all the cards and stuff like that. You can rank them up whatever you want to upgrade it, with shot and stuff like that. Public match, right? And then you have a competitive game mode where it's 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, 5v5, 6v6. Oh. So you have that, right? So you have a competitive game mode for the hardcore players, which are player classes. So it's not, no one has the advantage over the other because of how much, or because of the legend they are. And yeah. um, you have competitive for the people that, or, and, and you have public matches for the people that just want to rank up their character and see what they can do to change up customization-wise and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's not like competitive you'll necessarily get matched up with the, like, D1 guys. If you want to play, like, D10 competitive, I think yeah. you should be able to do that. Have play against options. other guys in D10 that if are... In, if you're in a competitive mindset, you want to just play... Hardcore yeah. 2v2 player classes, go for it. But you also have the ranking up system where it's all the above. And it's kind of like Call of Duty Public Match, you can make your own. It's like Legend 1, upgrade the wrist shot, upgrade the slap shot, everything, just back to like NHL 14 days. Yeah. But that, hey, we won the game somehow. I don't know how we did. <laughs> Level 8. Oh. Alright. I hope you guys right. comprehended anything that we just said. I know we were kind of talking too fast. <laughs> And there's a lot of other ideas. If you have any more E, is, 
or EASHL ideas that you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone understood that. Ander- understood. Understands that. Oh, but, Levin, um, you're choking. Come on. Relax. <laughs> I don't, okay, so if you have any other uh, EAS- EASHL ideas that you uh, want to do, or just changes in general, we're going to have another part of this come oh, out. I'm finishing, man. <laughs> we're going to have another part of this come out, the HUD series, and then the third part will just be general gameplay and stuff like that. So if you like this video, like it, comment on your changes that you want to make. And, uh, Will, you can close them out. <laughs> Goodbye! Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh.